Beard from Metal Gods TV and I'm with Jet Black. Hello, I'm Tom from Jet Black. I'm Will from Jet Black. Did, did I just catch up? Mick the Beard is it? Yeah. Amazing. I can see why. <laughs> no, it's just yeah. It's good. It's a good title. My beard's sponsored. I thought you said can you is see it? My beard is sponsored. Who boy? The hair dye company. Fucking hell. So you do all the... Oh, sorry. It's on the bottom of the floor. Oh, is it? Yeah. Smart beauty. <laughs> really? Yeah. So you get all the colours? Yeah. Oh, nice one. Tartan? Did you get tartan? It? I always keep it purple. Always purple. Yeah. Signature. It's oh. just... Yeah, and it, and it seems to work. If you point it a bit more, you probably get sponsored by Ding as well. That's a good idea. I don't <laughs> thought that. I'd try that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, moving <laughs> you, on from you've the got a, you. You've got a new album out at the moment. Yeah. How's it going? Amazing. Yeah. yeah, the album came out in um, June and nothing but good things have been happening since then. We did an um, acoustic set at Download, followed by like just shows after shows. Like, we went to Holland with uh, Papa Roach, played in front of like 6,000 people in two nights. Came back to the tour with Reckless Love. This today is the start of a tour with, um, well, we did last night with Dear Superstar t today, tomorrow with Dear Superstar, then we do a week and a week and a bit with Enough's Enough, and then we've just got another tour, it's just getting better and better, so nothing but good things really. Mad lads aren't the Dear Superstar. Yeah, nice guys, yeah, very nice guys, so yeah, it's good to be playing with them. So. Mad as Atterson. Well. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, what have you got planned for sort of the foreseeable future? I mean, more gigs, more festivals? Yeah, we've got another tour booked end of February next year with Grimsby. It's like, I think it's 14 days, 13 yeah, Australian days. Band. Yeah, Australian band. But uh, we're, probably, we're heading to record an album in March, another album, so we'll get on it. So uh, we're doing a lot. We've got a few gigs here and there, but mostly just knuckle down writing, really. On that tour. So hopefully we'll do the tour, then the album, then carry on touring, and then get the album out. I think the plan is cut the singles throughout the summer and then album at the end of the summer and just keep going. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's and good. Uh, how did you uh, get you know getting signed? How did all that come about? By the, you know, with the record company and everything. Uh, the people we recorded with, like Weller Hill Productions, like Dan and Justin from a band called Sixth, and uh, they knew somebody who handed it on to um, a guy who's working for who's working for Spine Farm. Is he? Yeah, it just, yeah. Focus by for just kind of who we knew sort of we got passed about and we got really lucky and uh, Dante took us on and uh, it's been up from there really. Yeah, so it's, yeah, like I said, just got passed on through people and then boom, it's amazing. Yeah. It took a while, it took a little while because there's a few hiccups here and there with other people, but we got there and so we had the album recorded ourselves like quite a few years back. It's taken a while to get it to where we wanted to be and stuff. So. Somebody told me earlier that uh, you guys have been together 14 years. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, we, we just started when you were about two. No, we, we <laughs> all knew each other at school. Yeah. And then we just like, I think, oh, I can't remember how it happened. Like, Matt, Matt decided he wanted a drum kit, I had a bass guitar, Will had a, a guitar and a Metallica t shirt. So, <laughs> uh, you know, we, we were there. Yeah. So that's pretty much how it started. And we just started off buggering about, you know, and it took us a little while to get going and up to speed. And, but, and then we recruited John. About he, he was late in the game, wasn't he? He's only been in the band 13 years, so uh, yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. It was. Basically, it's not it's a learn. It's not a very slow learning curve, yeah. but we got there in the end, and uh, we're really happy with where the band is now. Basically. Was it metal from day one? Uh, was, we were just we didn't have to, we couldn't we weren't good enough to play metal at the start, so it's just any songs we could play, yeah. mainly three chords. Any any songs with three chords. Quality. Bit of quote, yeah, <laughs> not much quote. Sort of green day and pop, anything we could like, you know, the easy stuff. Yeah. You are a big fan of the Carpenters, though, aren't you? <laughs> tradition, yeah. He's a balladeer. This man's a balladeer. For the people out there, you know, are talking about the Carpenters. Oh no, they, they should go and listen to the Carpenters. Only people maybe my age and older, maybe. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Will, Will's a softie at heart. He's a ballads man. That's right, ballads. You've got to get inspiration from someone. Yeah. Karen. Karen. There is. <laughs> what else you need? And is there somewhere? Is it a country you'd love to go to and play? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> There's basically. We really want to go to Germany. Japan's basically top of the list. Everybody says Japan. that's where we've been aiming for from day one. We just want to go there. They're not so it's like Beatlemania. Exactly, yeah, they just love it, and obviously America, sort of where all the bands come from that we 
well, not all of them, you know, there's a lot of them. Well, actually, that's a lie, because most bands are like British, but still, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, America, Japan, Germany, and everywhere. We, we play anywhere. We just want to play everywhere as much as possible. Is it this, at the moment, we, we were discussing earlier uh, with uh, Matt, he was on about there's not many up and coming British bands now. It seems to be, like at these festivals, you look down the list, it's not, it's nearly always American right. and Scandinavian and stuff yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah. Any, any ideas why you think well, that might be? I have no idea. Oh, this, 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 I've come across a few, but there's a lot of a lot of bands just regurgitating like the image. They're concentrating more on trying to look like Motley Crue and actually writing Quite, decent. Yeah. Because they just want to be on stage and doing that sort of thing. But you can have as many gimmicks as you want, but it don't make you any better. <laughs> so uh, it's part of that. Partly just as hard. But there's no, there's no, yeah, and there's no like um, none of the like magazines are covering this sort of music. I don't know. If, I mean, kids must know about it. But not as much as when we were growing up, you know, that was the music. So. Well, the same thing when I was growing up, Kerrang actually covered the proper metal Yeah, yeah, scene. metal now, rather than now pop. The, the, sort of, the magazine seems to be going a different direction. Pop punk, basically, yeah. isn't it? But, yeah. So whether or not, I mean, they must know about it, but we're trying to get it to those kids and show them the way. Yeah, maybe the media's a lot to blame for that, really. Follow yeah. us. Yeah. Follow us. We'll it's show you the light. <laughs> and I think what it is, they latch on to bands that are going to make them money, don't Yeah, space, exactly, right? yeah. Just shove it down the kids' ears and... Yeah, they got it the best. Yeah, basically. <laughs> keep pushing and some shit will stick. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is there an album this year, a 2010 album, that sticks out in your mind, apart from your own, that you'd say... That's I the don't know, the, the annoying thing is, a lot of, we get asked this quite often, yeah. obviously recently, at the end of the year, and we're pretty useless, aren't we? We can't really... Yeah, like, my favourite bands, well, it doesn't exist anymore, Nicky Joe, so, like, I don't know who's released a band, who's released a good album this year that really... The only reason I'm asking is because on, on the on the site at the moment we're, we're asking people to vote for their favourite album. Yeah, I can I can tell I I have a, I haven't been able to afford an album this year, and even if I did, I probably already got it anyway yeah. back from the 90s or 80s. I do like new music, but I just can't think of a band that bought a good album out this year that was really stuck out. I'm not saying they're not there, I just haven't heard it. Okay. <laughs> I'm being very diplomatic about that. <laughs> Basically, they're all shit. <laughs> I'm joking. And what can people expect from a Jet Black show? We always say the same thing, do we? High energy rock and roll. Yeah. High octane. Bit of fun. It's just got to be... We try and put a smile on people's faces because, um, you know, a lot of bands that people go out like that Kerrang generation, it's all doom and gloom, isn't it? Misery. <laughs> trying to kick them up the arse and put a smile on their faces, have some fun. That's what it's about. That's what music's about, isn't it? And it, it's lost its way. You've just got to have some fun and drink some beers and get on with it, have some fun, basically. That's all we're trying to do. Yeah. And what would be your um, sort of main ambition to play? I mean, you've played Download. Is there any other big festivals that you'd love to play? I think Sonosphere would be wicked to play next year, because we played Download twice and we've never played Sonosphere. All of them? Well, English. Just play all just, of yeah, the festivals yeah. and headline them all. That'd be good. So, that's the goal. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> And finally, have you got a message you'd like to give to your fans out there? Buy our album. <laughs> no, we got the album out, we've got tours coming up. Check out our MySpace, our Facebook, join us, come down and have some fun. And is it, who does the MySpace? Do you guys do it yourself? Yeah, pretty much everything we do, we do yeah. Just do everything ourselves. So, yeah, we try and, con you know, reply to everyone that sort of contacts us as much as possible. We do all of like, the merchandising ourselves as well. It's quite hard work, but I think it pays off when you do it yourself, you know, it's extra personal touch really works. And 